At Charlie's on Main, Madison's best chef is always stirring up something good. Absolutely. Whether Dave Heidi helps at the holidays, whipping up free community meals, or opening a pay-what-you-can restaurant later this summer. My family's been really fortunate in that there's always food on the table, but the more we've gotten around, the more we've gotten to see people who don't have that option. In this story, the generous chef with always the right ideas found himself for the first time at a loss for words. And I think you're the only person who's ever gotten me to be quiet for like more than 30 seconds. You see, after an early spring dinner at Charlie's, that person, a thirsty 12-year-old, found her way through the restaurant's secret door with her dad, down into Chef Dave's speakeasy. Our theme down here in the speakeasy is um, we'll create any drink you want, so you can say any theme. And that's when Chef Dave at the bar says, give me, give me something, give me a mood, give me a feeling. Give me a flavor, give me a place. And I had a little lull and I was like, does anyone else want a drink? And I said, Phoebes, I go, go ask him if he can make the cure for cancer. Let's pause here, because about a year ago, Phoebe Yancey was diagnosed with a deadly brain tumor. And on this night in the speakeasy, after countless radiation treatments and surgeries, she just finished her hopefully final round of chemo. With that final treatment, she took 207 pills of chemotherapy. Amongst the bottles of bitter truth, Phoebe found the courage to ask the bartending chef Dave the big question. I say, can you make the cure for cancer? And I was like, oh, um, cause like, like, how do you like, you know, cause you don't want to say like, I don't have one. You don't want to like ruin hope and you don't want to like, you know, take away. So it was like, um, uh, you know, you want to make something that's really fun and magical. So Chef Dave did just that, infusing special blue tea leaves. He takes something called simple syrup. Adding to that some lemon lime juice. At this point, it's blue. He gives me this spoon, and it turns, and I mix it up, and I'm mixing it, and I can watch it turn from blue to purple. And I, like, at this point, I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. Nearly wowed, Phoebe then took her first sip of the magical mocktail. Turned out to be really good, and it was a really cool experience. Phoebe is a bundle of energy, um, positive energy. Phoebe's doctor, UW Health radiation oncologist, Kristen Bradley, heard all about the cancer-curing beverage, but can't medically say it helped her patient because you can't put a medical definition on hope. A lot of patients in that scenario understandably get sad or depressed, um, but not Phoebe. You know, she channeled that energy and that positivity into other activities, you know, whether it be the special, special drink for her or, you know, helping make awareness um, of brain tumors for kids. Because if I wasn't as, like, persistent and wanting to get out of the hospital and wanting to just like beat this and I didn't want to have cancer and I wanted to be a normal person. And on her last scan. So far everything has looked really good for Phoebe. When I close my eyes And this means Phoebe and her sister Pam can, can get back to what they love. Singing and being siblings. It's crazy. Like, I'm speechless to say how just amazed I am that how, ev how everything has gone so far. Hashtag, uh, you know, killing cancer with my drinks. They're like magic drinks. Chef Dave plans to put the mocktail on his menu soon, not just here at Charlie's on Main, but his other restaurant, Liliana's in Fitchburg. And get this, all of the proceeds, they go to the American Family <laughs> Children's what Hospital in Phoebe? Madison. And it's gonna be called the Magical Phoebe. Proving the importance of always seeing the glass half full. This whole thing has pretty much taught me you only have one life. Just live it to the max. In Oregon, Wisconsin, Katherine Larson, Spectrum News.